and search for the limbo emulator in your app drawer and open it now you have to do the following settings it will ask you to update you have to click on cancel and don't show again because we are using the older version of limbo emulator which can run windows 11 so here you just have to click on this option and create a new uh, machine so just go ahead and click on new and type windows 11 or anything you would like to name your machine afterwards click on create and then click on cancel it will ask you to download uh, the compatible os so we will click on cancel now here you will find many settings which are necessary for limbo emulator in user interface you just have to keep everything default if you wish you can enable uh, the uh, desktop mode if you wish but i wouldn't recommend it but anyways if you go to cpu board here you will have to select the x64 uh, option so just go ahead and click on this uh, x86 button click on x64 afterwards you have to go ahead and select the cpu model as sandy bridge once that has been done here you can now customize cpu cores now you will have to set the cpu cores according to your android device specification for example if you have a good device i recommend you guys use like four cores now here you will have to go ahead and choose the ram memory in megabytes so unfortunately this old version of limbo emulator only supports ram up till uh, 2 gb but do not worry guys if you wish uh, then i'll also make many more videos on limbo emulator showing its best settings lag fix and also how to install apps and games in this limbo emulator but anyways enable uh, this option and then scroll down and also enable high priority so this option is also very necessary go to network section select user and select the network card as pc net this will let you use internet on your uh, virtual machine now you just have to go ahead and select the audio card and select as ad lib once that has been done now move to the graphics section here you will have to choose the vmware option which is also very necessary now this is the most important part go to the disk se section and click on the hard disk a and then click on the none button and then click on open now here uh, go ahead and open that folder and select the dot vhd file of it you are all set it will be to run the windows uh, 11 on android now click on play button and it will show and black screen it will say booting and as you guys can see here we have the windows logo now i'll fa fast forward it uh, because uh, i won't be cutting any part of it or else you will think that this is fake or something like that but no we are running the real windows 11 on android uh, and the loading time will depend upon your device i have a flagship device with snapdragon 888 but still it took me like 5 to 6 minutes uh, for the windows 11 to get loaded and here you will see that it says uh, windows uh, opening and also it will open the administrator page it will say welcome but it will lag so just keep that in mind and here you can see that i am not using any kind of internet connection uh, i am showing you guys or else you will say that i am just connected to an rdp no that's not it guys we are emulating and real windows 11 on android if you get black screen do not freak out just wait for a few minutes more until your windows 11 is loaded now in my opinion for you guys it will take a lot of time uh, because my device is flagship uh, your device may be mid-range or a uh, high-end device but still it will take more time than me but anyways as you can see right here we have the windows 11 now you will have to do uh, these settings to optimize your windows 11 click on the display button select maximum refresh rate and select the display mode uh, and click on ok once that has been done it will show something like this but do not worry you still need to enable mouse controls and also audio card uh, so here again i'll show you that i am not using any internet connection the limbo pc emulator is running in notifications as well uh, here as you guys can see virtual machine running so we'll click on the audio option and you can here uh, decrease or increase the volume of your limbo emulator now you can also access keypad but we have to click on mouse and select the trackpad touchscreen option this will make your screen go black again now the windows will open in full screen and here as you guys can see we have the mouse which we can control using our touchscreen uh, with very less latency which is also really impressive limbo emulator surely is really well optimized now in this windows 11 super light copy uh, the microsoft edge is not installed 
so i think you will have to find some work around for that as well uh, on youtube or else if this video reaches like 500 likes i'll make a video on how to load or how to install apps and games on this windows 11 virtual machine in limbo emulator so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as well now here again you can see that our start button has opened it took a lot of time so basically for the first startup it will take let's say half an hour just to get the windows 11 uh, working on your android device and it will take more time for your device uh, to get compatible or get known to the windows 11 emulation uh, because first of all once you click on start button or file explorer or any app in general it will take a lot of time for it to load as everything is new for your device uh, and also for this emulator uh, windows 10 really works well on limbo emulator windows 11 is in experimental stage now as i was saying that it will surely take a lot of time just to open few applications in this emulator for the first time that is once you uh, open it again and again i think it will store some catch which will make your uh, limbo emulator faster but if you guys want best settings for limbo emulator can also make that video and also on how to fix lag and how to install load games etc so be sure to hit that subscribe button as well now here you can see our file explorer has finally opened now we'll check the uh, amount of free space available on this uh, pc or virtual machine so i actually had about 19 gb free after extracting the uh, windows 11 vhd file of 7 gb so let me click on this pc and after clicking on it it will take again few minutes uh, just to open the, this pc section so yeah here we go guys it has been opened now here you can see that it's saying 10 gb free which is reasonable uh, out of 19 gb which has been given to this virtual machine so if you just go ahead and click on it uh, double click on it you will be able to enter the this pc option but i won't be showing you so here if you select this pc you can use the volume down to act as right click but i guess uh, our uh, uh, local DC has opened and here you will be able to see the uh, user windows etc file but as i mentioned before left click will basically uh, act as an left uh, lower volume down button will act as an right click my bad uh, i don't know what i was mumbling about but lower volume uh, down button or volume down button <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about it's really night uh, when i'm doing this voiceover but i think i'm just sleepy but uh, volume down button will make sure that uh, uh, it acts as an right click on limbo pc emulator so yeah that's the windows 11 on android devices here are the system specifications like it will have intel xeon processor one gigahertz uh, processor depending on how many cores you provide it so it works really well uh, in my opinion let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it so this was the method of running the real windows 11 on android without flashing anything without root or without custom rom that's it for today's video thanks for watching make sure like and subscribe share you for more videos goodbye